<laughs> oh, we've got to use this. Now, wait a minute. How does the dog hold the cantaloupe? Oh, I see there are straps. Oh, hello. <laughs> My name is Josh Mandel. I was just looking up some new perversions we may want to use in Leisure Suit Larry and the Land of the Lounge Lizards Reloaded. It's the game I'm working on with Al Lowe and the fine folks at Replay Games. You know, a lot of folks say to me, hey, asshole, who the hell are you? Well, let me try to explain. I was a theater major in college, and after college I went into comedy. I had a partner, Karen McVeigh, and we spent most of the 80s traveling around all of North America doing comedy clubs and nightclubs, universities, uh, the occasional bowling alley, and uh, we were fairly successful. We were the uh, house comedians at the Chicago Playboy Club uh, and at several other Chicago clubs. And um, it went on for a long time until my partner couldn't tour anymore. And so we started just working out of Chicago in the evenings, not touring. And uh, during the day, I started working at an ad agency. And um, in my spare time, I would write about games. I wrote reviews and walkthroughs and articles for some of the leading electronic gaming magazines of the time. And uh, I also beta tested. I beta tested for Surtech, for Infocom, which was a huge privilege for me, and for Sierra, which was sort of the crowning glory of my beta testing days. After a few years of beta testing, I was contacted by Garuka Singh Khalsa. He was the producer at Sierra, and at the time that he contacted me, he was the only producer. So he had dozens of games he was working on, and only himself to produce. And he said, would you consider coming out here and being a junior producer? And at the time I thought, it's very unlikely I'm going to give up comedy, which I've been doing for 10 years now successfully. I'm going to give up my day job in advertising and go to a place where I know absolutely nobody in the middle of nowhere and uh, work on these games. But I did the interview anyway, and I was so blown away by the energy and the creativity and some of the things that they were doing there that you only would have known about had you actually been there and looked over the artists and the programmers' shoulders to see the incredible artwork and the incredible new things and also the, the beauty of living uh, right near Yosemite. I mean, it's just an incredible place and an amazing experience and I ended up taking the job. Uh, flash forward a few months to the first Christmas party I was at at Sierra. They were looking for entertainment and I said, well, you know, I have this partner back in Chicago and you know, if you flew her out, we could put on a little show for you. And they said, okay, we'll do that. And we did 45 minutes of our most kick-ass stuff and we were so thrilled with the reception. And then Ken came up to me backstage after the show and he said, you know, you're an entertaining kind of guy. You could be writing these games. And, and uh, that was like the moment I had been waiting for my whole life. It was exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to design games. Back when I would play Infocom games, what to me was greatest about them was that you could try anything. And in, in almost every case, the designers anticipated what you would try and they had a message for it. And it might not get your points, it might not help you solve a puzzle, but it would always be entertaining and it would always give you a feeling of, of being rewarded for your creative thinking and for your exploration. That's something that I've always tried to bring to all the games I've worked on, whether it was Freddy Farkas, which was the first game I really did uh, uh, at Sierra with Al Lowe. Uh, whether it was Callahan's Cross Time Saloon, which I did for Legend, or uh, Space Quest VI, the parts of that game that I worked on before I left the company, you can tell which parts I worked on because you can click on just about any molecule of that screen, any discernible object, you click on it, you will get an individualized message. Uh, it might be a hint, it might just be a joke, uh, but it rewards you 
for your exploration, and that's always been my guiding principle in games, entertainment and feedback and rewarding exploration. This is what I would like to do with Leisure Suit Larry 1, to whatever extent Al wants me to do it. I want to do dialogues. There weren't many dialogues in the original Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, I want to look at all the details that you'll now be able to see because we're doing high-res art. I want a message for each one of those things that you click on. I want messages for trying to do interesting things with the inventory objects or combining the inventory objects. I want to load it up with rewards for your exploration. And that's something that, as much as I loved Leisure Suit Larry, the original, um, and Leisure Suit Larry 1 VGA, which I did get to do some work on with Al, um, it's something that they never really had. And it's something that I think would add immeasurably to the humor of the game. Not that there's anything wrong with the humor. And I trust Al, as I always have, with being, uh, being the guide to what fits into the Larry universe and what doesn't. Uh, he did that for me when I worked on Freddy Farkas. He did that for me when I worked on the Laffer Utilities and Leisure Suit Larry 1 VGA and Leisure Suit Larry 5, which I wrote on. Leisure Suit Larry 6, when I wrote the country western song, Cell Block Love. Anyway, that's my vision for Leisure Suit Larry 1 Reloaded, and I'm so psyched about it because it's Al and me working together again, which we haven't done in over 20 years. It's Paul Trow, who was at Sierra when I was there. He was at Sierra when I left. Sabina Duval, the producer, she's wonderful to work with. She's got a fantastic sense of humor, and she's really smart. Leslie Balfour, who was the voice of Laura Bow and who went on to write on lots and lots of the Sierra games and documentation as well. I love her. I'm so psyched to be working with these people again. And the whole Kickstarter thing is making it that much better because I can see the thousands and thousands of people who are responding, who are pledging. It'd be nice if they could bump up their pledge just like a couple of bucks. I mean, we could be over the top. Uh, but, you know, the, the responses on the forums and the comments the pledges themselves, it blows us away and it, it, it really psychs us up. Um, and Replay Games, uh, you know, they, they have a history with Sierra. Adventure Mob, uh, uh, Oded and Oren, they are great talents. They have done wonderful things for us in tiny amounts of time with virtually no money to work with. They've got the talent to do it. And so... I hope that you will pledge. I hope that you will pledge a little bit more if you can. I also hope that you will join us tonight, uh, Friday the 13th, April 13th, at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 o'clock uh, uh, Western Time. Um, Al is going to be doing an AMA, which is an Ask Me Anything, on reddit.com. That's R-E-D-D-I-T.com. Maybe we'll give you a link or something to make it easy. He's going to be there answering questions. Paul Trow's going to be there answering questions. I'm going to be there answering questions. I hope you'll join us for that. It's going to be a wild time. We're going to be there for two hours. Anything you can think of to ask us, please do. We want you. We want to hear your feedback. We want your comments. We want your questions. We want to be able to answer them. And we want to get this game done. So I'll see you tonight, and I'll see you in my next video update. And um, maybe you can send us some ideas for new perversions. We can always use a few more. Oh, my.